Hey folks, how you doing? Leducium here, and I am continuing my Let's Play of The Walking Dead. We are on Episode 2, Starved for Help. Normally, I'm starved for attention, but I guess <laughs> if you're going to be starved for something, might as well be starved for help. So we left off with uh, us going to this weird dairy farm. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. We actually did this already. I wonder if, uh... Hmm. I guess I can't skip it. Resume game. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Well, as I just the found out... Keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're if pushing you, uh, <laughs> exit out of the game... Generators and ants. Starts with the last autosave, and apparently it doesn't autosave all the time, so that sometimes you have to start... From way back in there, wow, Paula Dean has really let herself go. Ever have any accidents? Uh, We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. I'm going to try different responses. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, did I say Paula Dean let herself go? I'm in to see. I mean, she's looking better than ever. <laughs> John Derry. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh, I think last time I said we worked together. I'm gonna say I've got things, I've got under, things control. under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, I, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. Actually, we'll I had sure said we were a democracy, possible. but that's okay. Um, Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully <laughs> maybe I will make it through this Oh, powder. the South would not survive, survive without like butter. For a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! <laughs> yep, he maybe was in Vietnam. Group could He's got flashbacks. Well, That's okay. How about this? <laughs> Y'all go get your veterinary PTSD. friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you uh, hungry souls. Oh, veterinarian. Be nice to have How's the that? To help out around here again. We have a vet. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? I got waking nightmares. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Alrighty. Um, Mark, Lee, you almost cut off to where we around. left off. Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Um. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I don't think the, uh... broken swing over there. Captions deal, are really other things not working. Like the voice acting is not related to the captions. The fence perimeter. Should have been. Sounds I like think they think it's safe. Defenses. It was all, all right. caps. You I'll have to yell it. Open. If it's all we'll caps. You got to yell it. From it's the only way. It's okay, folks. I'll do all the voice acting from here on out. Not to worry. I've got this shit under control. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's go talk to Mark. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Get it? Because he's standing next to a fence, keeping posted. Oh, it's okay. It's 
Grasping at straws. Let's take a look. Uh, I guess I had to come here. Let's just go to wherever the fuck they need to go. To. Take a look at whatever. Let's look at a swing. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> uh, let's say... When was the last time it got any use? Mm, been quite a while. I don't exactly have a lot of kids visiting anymore. I look forward to the day when kids can just be kids again. Amen to that. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Oh, uh, sure. Sure, fixing a swing is really pulling your weight. There's like a billion zombies out there. And that's your priority. Okay. Alright. I'm not arguing. Just saying. It's retarded. <laughs> Let's go use the gate. And loot whatever we can loot. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? Observe whatever we can this observe. This place was my daddy's life. Ah! Meant everything to him. Sneaked up You know, on when it. he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. All I can say is I don't trust them. I don't trust southern hospitality. Give me northern hostility any day. That you can trust. This rope is perfect for the swing. What else can we loot? <laughs> well, these folks expect us to actually help out. Uh, anything over here? Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Ah, can I help you with snuck up on me. Now? I think with Danny's <laughs> help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. Um, let's not be dicks about this. What happened to the rest of you, staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night, those fangs showed up here. It was oh, a tough night. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Yep. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. All right, let's not be dicks. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. Seems no like problem. asking about dinner is a dickish move. It's funny how I'm trying not to be a dick in a video game. It means I'm getting into the game, but I actually want to play along and see what kind of responses I get. Means hey, it's a uh, good game. What are you fixing to do around the barn? Uh, just trying, just to... trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. 
What's that? Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Jerk. <laughs> I mean, fine. Hey, what's over here? Hmm. Pointy. <laughs> hmm. Observant. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? <laughs> uh. Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Uh, like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. <laughs> well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. I'm gonna call it right now. Mark gets electrocuted. Never know. That's my prediction. Production. Get it? Because there's a guy named Duck. Oh, uh, that's horrible. I apologize. We're moving on, and we shall How's never speak looking? of this again. Is it safe enough for us to stay? We can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I... I'm, I'm sorry, all right? Um... We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Don't do it. Ugh. Don't you do it. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh. Poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Disgusting. Who do you think he was? Um. At least it's not one of us. All right. I guess we gotta push him. A bad feeling about this. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It's useless without gas. A fortress needs people to defend it. A fortress it. needs people to defend it. I don't We've know, got I'm just picking people. random choices. So what's your take on the brothers? Uh, apparently they I'm seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Another one bites the dust. Another one gone, another one gone, another one bites the dust. There. Another one bites the dust. Ah! 
<laughs> Funny. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Chop, chop goes the axe. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> if you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. A little help here, Lee? Don't do it, Mark. Terrible idea. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. <laughs> what the? Get to the gate. I knew it. The zombies have developed boat technology. Jesus. Fuck. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. Can't hide forever. Uh, I could try. The blades are stuck in the dirt. I see him. Show yourself. I already got one of you. Now there you are, boy. No fuel. Ah, oh, fuck course. you, son bitches up. Did you really think you could get up in there? Stop shooting at us! Get down! Nothing over here. Come on now! Can't Come on. Me to if we can reach the gate, home. we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the Shit, that hurts. <laughs> Did I just get dead? Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Holy fuck! Well, now what I'm one of happened? the Walking Dead, so there. The are on. Join what the popular the crowd. On? He knows we're out here. All the other kids are doing it. They're all into that the erotic asphyxiation. And then they turn into zombies. Get down. Sad, really. Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out! You got lucky right. that Let's try this again. Raise that. What about our arrangement? Don't need to do the other crap. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah, shit that hurts. Show yourself! How many arrows does this guy have, by the way? You really think you can fuck with us? <sighs> what happened? Oh, shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to move him. Give us the food! Where's our food, you asshole? Where do you think you're going? Sounds like these guys have a grievance. Regarding some dinner that was not delivered. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? You Two. With Give it Two, food. actually.
You okay? Yeah, barely. Come on, the gate's right there. That's. Come on out. That sucks. There's a zombie. What about our arrangements? Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches! Go ahead and run. We've got unlimited arrows, and we're not afraid to use them. It's not that hard to get by an electric fence of that size. Lee, what's wrong? There was a goddamn ambush out there! Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be all right once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, That's honey, what come she on, said. Got you. Come on, oh! now. We'll have you all sorted <laughs> Thank you, out. I'll be here all well, week. You must be the what kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It was just a fluke thing. We can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Nice. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's <laughs> real charming, Dad. It's Where's not charm. Ben Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Nah, <laughs> I was gonna fix that swing. No, I don't have to. All right, let's get these bandits. After all, bandits are just land pirates. Hey, Clem. Do you like the swing? It's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Nope. <laughs> sure. Happy to push you on the way. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. It would have been a lot worse. It's Are gonna you be going peachy. to find the people who hurt Mark? Get it? It's then Georgia. To make sure they don't hurt anyone else. No, me neither. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, <laughs> things have got to get back to normal. That's Shared hope good. with Clementine. I'd call it lying, but that's... Yeah, me too. It's just... 
pessimist. Don't worry, we're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem, that's enough for now. Okay, thanks for pushing me. Of course, it's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. Let's talk to Kenny. Maybe. Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure. Not sure why, but Kenny talks in green. It's a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. <laughs> I guess I'm signing with Kemi. Kemi, uh, with Kenny. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Ah, uh, there's gonna be a plot twist. There's always a plot twist. The fuck you doing, Duck? They look happy. Alright. Uh, I guess we should talk to her. Got some things to take care of. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't give a rat's ass. Is that Kenny? Okay, I don't want to talk to Kenny anymore. Uh, let's move on in this general direction. Is the fence still pointy? Hmm. Pointy. Yes, it is. And this is the board that uh, I probably should have used. Through a lot of wood, keeping those fences repaired. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. Yeah, this is what we should have been using, or I should have been using to repair uh, the swing. But I didn't. That's so there. That's a fence electrified. Why am I going here? Looks like a feeding station for the cow. That's no way to talk about those boys' mama. Just because she has a weight issue. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Nope. Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? I'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Maybe he likes an arrow in his shoulder. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, I but did. you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? I do. Uh, Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, side with hope Kenny. doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I don't I'm like this woman. I'm focused on keeping us alive. 
and her and not practicality. Giving my dad food. That was cold. Well, that's because your dad's an asshole. Hey. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Aww. I hate these two slightly less. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Okay. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. Whoops. All right. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. All right, we've talked to pretty much everyone. I'm going to explore just a little bit more. Find out what's going on out Having there. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're going to need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Don't pee on the electric fence. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Hey, what's that? Lots of hay. Ugh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. And that's it over here. Alright, I am about ready to put a break in this video. Uh, as soon as, let's go talk to, let's just finish up the whole talking section here, and then it will be break time. So I think all we've got left is to go up here and talk to these fine yokels. Fellas. Hi, Fellas. Yokels. I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and <laughs> get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? <laughs> they used to work retail. And we know retail folks are the most dangerous folks in an apocalypse. That just goes without saying. Um, I think we might as well go. Uh, I'm going to click let's yeah, go. And it'll see be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. See at what point let's I can actually it. exit the game. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah. I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Alrighty. Alright, I'm assuming this is also the autosave, so... Um... See anything? Not yet. I guess I'm gonna wait through the story, and then... We shall... I know it's around here. End the video. It's gotta be close. And move on. Keep on moving on.
and so on and so forth and henceforth, etc., etc., etc. Here. Oh shit! You found it. All right, sneak up to the camp. So I am going to put a break in this video right here, folks. If you guys are enjoying the series so far, please leave a like. It helps me out a lot. Hit subscribe if you haven't already to get updates on any new videos I post. And I hope you guys tune in for the next video of The Walking Dead. My name is Leducium, and I will see you guys next time.